I remember in um, early 90, I did some projections for our director at that point in time, and like the projections for payment processing over the next five years, based on, you know, the historical data from the last two years and what was coming, and everybody was just blown away. They were just so amazed at the growth that was coming, and um, nobody really believed it, I don't think, either. And it just, those five years, child support just grew tremendously. So that's kind of when we first started to look at payment processing and how we were processing payments because it was all very manual. Uh, you know, we'd get the envelopes. We had people sitting in a room opening the envelopes with letter openers, taking out the checks, taking a stamp like you do at a bank and endorsing the back of the check, and then going and making copies of those checks so that we could post them to these cards, these account cards that we had, and then they'd take the physical checks and make physical deposits. That is what we did. We copied the checks and the backup documentation back then, yes. And it was tedious and it was cumbersome and, and so we were very excited to move to microfilming. So there was three or four main duties working in the batch control unit, one of which was opening the mail. Uh, there was another one that was sorting the mail where we would, we would separate certain types of checks from other ones. And, um, and another duty would be to actually film the checks and the documentation. And then again, we'd send it over to another unit that would actually, uh, you know, assign each payment a dollar amount and then apply the payment to the case. And they'd be doing this off of the actual paper check, uh, not off of the image, because the image was on a piece of film over here, you know, it wasn't accessible to this other unit. Um, and then they would send the actual check to another part of the office where it would be deposited and eventually sent to the bank. But by the time they got to the deposit unit, it was two days later, and so they weren't making it into the bank in 24 hours. So part of the, uh, the re-engineering process that I worked on was that we would image the checks up front, scan the checks, and then work from the image. In the meantime, the negotiable goes to the bank right away. So we need our 24-hour deposit. So that was one of the first things. When we started in looking at this in 94, I actually enlisted a couple of co-workers. Um, there was an individual who had worked a lot on the cash, or the policy end of things in our, in our um, division, and then one of our IT folks. And between the three of us, we kind of um, developed this system, but at that time, imaging was not real predominant. There were a few banks that were using it in their back room to do lockbox, which is processing payments. Um, but you had, to, you had to have windows to use it. And at that time, the state was not using windows. It, we were still in the DOS environment. And the IT person that we worked with, um, she was always kind of forward thinking. And so her group of IT staff had windows. And then a few of us users in the division had windows, but we were on our own as far as support went. So in order to use imaging, we had to transition all of our staff to windows, and they had to learn how to use a mouse. They didn't even know how to use a mouse at that time, because most of them weren't using windows at home either. When we look at kind of like the workflow, um, it's cut out a couple steps in the process. Um, we used to take payments, just to look at payments itself, we would, Monday's payments, we would still be opening and sorting up to Tuesday afternoon. So that's not even scanned into the system completely. That's just the sorting, opening and sorting. And as of now, with our seven OPEX machines and the scanners attached to them, we have all of Mondays opened by around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, same day. So, and that's open, sorted, scanned. It's completely imaged. So the, the bins of mail come in and um, they're, they're loaded into the OPEX machines. These are the opening machines. So they go through automatic slitters and the envelopes are separated. Then the, the staff person at that machine is able to just pull the contents out of it. They don't have to do any kind of opening. Um, they then will unfold whatever it is, the documents, or, or take out staples if, if something happens to be stapled, and then put them on a conveyor belt right in front of them where the documents then run through a scanner that is attached to the opening machine. 
The scanner not only um, endorses the checks, but it also takes pictures of the checks and the backup, and it shows up on a monitor in front of the operator so that they can keep track of building the batch, basically, putting the documents into the system. So the contents of the envelope come right out of the envelope, right there at the desk, go right into the system. Then the machine actually sorts the, the backup from the check so they can take that, the negotiables and, make, and create the deposits, and then off that goes to the bank. Um, it's in the system then, and it's available from all, any place on the floor, you know, once those checks are scanned and in that system. That's the end of the paper process. Once they come in, they're loaded on that machine, open, scan, and that's it. The checks go to the bank. The uh, backup documentation we keep for 30 days in case something doesn't scan right or there's a bad image and we need to pull it out, or in case there's some kind of legal document that a field office is asking for. And uh, that works really well. I mean, of course, there was a lot of trepidation about that at first, especially with attorneys and needing original signatures and original documentation for court-ordered proceedings. But we've worked through all of that. And uh, it's been actually really enjoyable and a very cool learning experience to kind of watch that evolve. That's kind of the hub. We really see this as it's the division statewide hub of where all the paper comes in and becomes an electronic image so that all the work can be done you know, across the state. If, we, if we've received it, it's right there. So it's not, you don't have to, you don't have to dig through the folders anymore. Um, you just punch in the case number and the image comes up. Uh, since they brought in imaging, everything is just a click away. Uh, any document that we need that's in our system that's been received by our agency, it's literally just a couple of mouse clicks away and we can see it on our screen. We can print it, we can read it, there's no guessing, there's no looking at somebody else's interpretation of what it is. You can read it yourself because it's right there. Well, when we started that, the EFT work, we have had one person working in that room and they spent half their day pulling files in, balancing them, sending them to the bank or sending them to our, our host system. That workload has remained exactly the same for the last five years. But that's when they were doing 35% of the total or 52% of the total. And the workload has been exactly the same. I mean, it's just amazing. It's like you said, you know, they, they were processing $500,000 and now they're doing three million. And it's the exact same workload. You push a button and pull a file in, you send it out this way. Um, right now we get thousands of checks and money orders every day through the old manual process of just getting payments through the mail. If we can outreach to these employers and these individuals to get them to send us the money electronically, we can shave days off of the overall processing time from intake to processing to distribution. Um, on an average day, um, we're processing in our EFT room, I would say approximately $2 million on an average day. Today, for example, when I was processing our room, um, I did $1.6 million, and that was almost 10,000 payments that I just processed in one day in our electronic funds room today. Recently, within the last couple years, we started um, a really big push for all of our custodial parents that are receiving their child support payments. We want to get them to get their payments in an electronic method way, either into their personal bank accounts, or if they don't have one, we have a, um, a DCS, a Division of Child Support um, Visa card that we offer to our clients. And we had a goal to get to 80% outgoing electronic. And we're not quite at that yet. Um, we have about 65% that is that goes and comes as EFT now. And we keep increasing that uh, through employer contacts, outreach, um, as well as our 800 numbers for our phone. So we go up a little bit every single month. Um, I think last time I talked to the director, I told him I thought by 2009 we should be at that 80%. And one of the main benefits of the electronic funds transfer is that uh, payments aren't lost in the mail. And, and we know, we can track them. We know where they started, we know where they landed, we know in advance where they're going to land. So we, we can track payments a lot better. 
everybody wins. We save money for the uh, program, for the, for the division, so we have more money for our budget. Again, if we can save those full-time employee positions from having to manually handle the money and get them to actually send it in electronically, we can do the same amount of work and processing with one employee for one day that it would take us anywhere from 25 to 35 employees, depending on the volume. So you're talking about a turnaround of, t let's say, 30 average employees to one employee, just for electronic funds transfer. One of the goals of the reorganization was to offer staff some flexibility in the work they did, give them a chance to cross-train, learn some new skills, and really help their promotional opportunities. You know, so that when they went to apply as an SEO, they can say, well, I've done all this different stuff in the division, rather than just this one thing. I was here about five or six weeks, and they cross-trained me over into the male side. It's all one area, but different duties. So I could versatile go back and forth on either side, depending on who needed what done what day. It really is about being able to fluctuate resources. So, um, you know, if you have 20 people in one unit and all they do is one work product, and on any given day, the volume changes because we have mail that comes in every day. We have court orders that come in every day. If there's one day when you hardly get anything, you have 20 people sitting there prepared to do the work without the work coming in. So on the other side of the floor, you have another group of 20 people who are getting hit day after day after day with volume, where you could have these other 20 people that could be helping them out when their work is done. So it's about being able to fluctuate human resources based on the volumes that come in. And that's really the biggest benefit, I think, as far as being able to save FTEs. I mean, not having to throw a lot of bodies at this work. You sit at a desk a lot, so it's really fun to learn something new. To, and once you finally understand and you do all the different duties, it falls into place. Oh, you do this and this because of this and this. And I think your work is done a lot more accurately when you do a lot more cross-training. I think the cross-training part was a huge thing for staff. Um, they get bored when they're doing the same thing every day and so it gives them a lot more variety and for morale I, that's improved it a lot. We've taken technology pretty far. Obviously we have some things in place right now where we're going to add some um, automating, automation to the OPEX machines. We're going to add some automation where it does some OCR reading. It's going to read the bank accounts and it's going to read um, handwriting and do some comparison. So, so there's some things that are going to be a lot cooler there. There's going to be some automatic posting. Obviously we want to do some image deposits so that instead of sending the paper checks to the bank, we would actually send the images to the bank and that would be the deposit. So that's our next piece. Ah, the technology. The, especially in the security area, we would have days. We'd have two or three days worth of work sitting in bins. We'd have to put in the safe at night. We couldn't get done. We didn't have enough. I don't know if it was people power or technology and not enough machines to process all the work that was coming through. Today, we are done on a daily basis. Our payments are posted. Our referral processing is done. Our, the court orders are done. Um, the work is done daily. It, it's a tremendous difference, and I, I think a lot of the people are up and running, they're, they're, they're trained correctly, the machines are so innovative, they're up to date. So we've got great trainers, things are just smooth, just three and a half years. Anytime you, you change a process and speed it up, uh, it just improves the, the time it takes to get the money out the door. I mean, before when we had paper processes, it would take two to three days to get checks processed, which means it takes that many more days to get checks out the door to families. And that's, that's thinking of paper checks. Now we have the DCS card, we have you know direct deposit, like I said, almost 70% at this point. So people are getting their money the next day. It's actually available to them the day after we process it. And that's real. That, we used to have days like, um, especially around holidays, we would push really hard right before Christmas because we'd get a lot of money in the week before Christmas and we'd want to get it processed so that people would have the money to spend for Christmas. 
Well, unless we processed it, you know, at least five days before Christmas, they weren't going to get it in order to spend it because it had the checks had to be cut. Then they had to be put in the mail. Then they had to be delivered. Then they had to be cashed. So it had to be on, you couldn't, they couldn't get it on a Sunday and spend it because the banks weren't open and they couldn't deposit the check. But now we know that up to two days before Christmas, if we get the money processed, it's gonna be in their account. They can use their debit card. They can use their DCS card. They can you know, write a check and it's in their bank. So it's available so much sooner for them. And then on the payer side, if they're paying electronically, and even with some of the new applications that we have in the imaging system because of um, the automation that we have, the payments are just a lot more accurate. There's not that chance for um, you know, keying in every payment that comes in, then you have that chance for error every single time. So the more we automate, the more accurate they are as far as posting to the accounts. So I think, you know, I think our customers um, are better off. The work's getting done. The work comes in. We have two days, two to three days to get some of these, this work done. We're doing it the day it comes in. So definitely it benefits the children, it benefits the families.